Hi everyone, it's Brittany Saylor. I'm the Adult Life Ministry Coordinator at Northway Wexford. I get the blessing of working alongside Mary Mercer in helping coordinate our small groups and all the adult life ministry here. And today I just kind of want to share my testimony about small groups with you guys. I have been greatly impacted by small groups at Northway. And so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit and share just a little bit of encouragement. I know that leading a small group is no small task. And so I want to come alongside you guys and just encourage you as you lead your groups, as you shepherd our community. And so a little bit of background about me for those of you who don't know. I grew up in the church. I am a Yinzer through and through. I uh, spent most of my time at Allegheny Center Alliance Church in the north side of Pittsburgh and was there from the time I was in kindergarten till the time I graduated college. And so I was really blessed by their kids ministry, their youth groups, and helped lead their kids camps during the summer. And just the Lord was continually drawing me to him during that time. And through Pastor Rock's sermons and my mom and stepfather are just incredible believers and came alongside me for that spiritual journey. And so I went to Grove City College, studied sociology and communications. And when I graduated, I came back to church with my parents and just realized that I didn't really fit in. Um, there wasn't a young adult ministry. And so someone said, you should really check out Northway Oakland. It's a great church. There's a lot of young professionals. We we just think you'd fit in there. And so I went and my first weekend was a small group connect. And so I met this girl who later became my roommate for the next three years. And that weekend we just met, we connected, we were sitting next to each other. And she said, hey, do you want to join a small group with me? And I thought, I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to go to this church full time, but it was small group connect. They really sold it on stage. And I thought, yeah, okay. Like it seems like the right thing to do. And so we ended up joining this small group that was a uh, mixed young adults. So guys and girls, and it was definitely one of the most impactful, um, parts of my spiritual journey. And so joined this group, became, came connected to a lot of people and just grew my relationship with the Lord. I began serving regularly. I began developing deep relationships with girls in that group who are now, there's actually three of them who are my best friends to this day. I call them my squad. And so they are my girls who I go to um, for spiritual encouragement, advice. Um, when I'm dealing with hard times, they're just girls that I know I can depend on, my um, ride or die people. And so during that time, the small group leader came up to me and she said, Britt, I think you'd be a really good small group leader and I want you to think about it. Just really pray about it. And if you do talk to Allison Smith, she's our adult life coordinator at Oakland. And so I was so overwhelmed, just very humbled that she would approach me and ask me to do this. And so I prayed about it and just really felt the Lord giving me a green light and saying, go, I think this is where you are supposed to be. And so during this time, I, I signed up to be a small group leader. And at the fall small group connect, I launched a college girls small group. And so we met on Sunday evenings after church, after the 5 p.m. service at Oakland. And I just want to encourage you guys, because I think my experience is so typical, but we don't like to share it because as small group leaders, I know for me, I wanted everyone to think I had it all together and that my group was perfect and we weren't dealing with anything, but that's so not normal, right? Like your first couple months of small group can be really hard. And so my first three months of small group were so difficult. And during that time, I just thought, God, this cannot be where you want me because this does not seem fun. And I don't feel like anyone is growing in you. And I just really don't want to do this. And so I had gotten these girls and they did not talk. I mean, girls talk all the time. Obviously, as you can tell, I love to talk. And it was a struggle for us to meet for an hour because they just didn't, they weren't comfortable with each other. They didn't contribute or get vulnerable. And so just continued with it. I just was like, Lord, I know that you've called me here. You haven't let me go from this place. And I want to be faithful to this call that you have on my life to lead this group of girls. And so we were digging into the word. We were doing good studies and praying for these girls. But, you know, still it was a slow process. And finally in December, so we started in September and in December, it was like the weekend before they were leaving for fall break or Christmas break. And one of the girls opened up, um, was really vulnerable about a family situation she was going home to. And all of a sudden it was like floodgates opened. Every girl then started contributing and saying, oh, I have family issues too, or this is how I deal with it. And this is how I feel like the Lord has broken through that in my life. And when we came back from break in January, it was hard to get those girls to leave my apartment uh, in under two hours because all of a sudden the share time had grown and it was just an incredible experience. And so for the next three years, I walked alongside these girls and walked through things like alcohol addiction, um, abusive relationships, 
et cetera. I mean, just crazy stuff that was going on. But because I kept with it, because I just trusted that the Lord had called me to this place and these girls, uh, he opened up these avenues where I was just able to pour into them, where I was able to learn from them and where God came alongside all of us and really drew us into him and all of our relationships with him became more intimate. And so even to this day, uh, our group hasn't met for two years because the girls graduated college and was able to celebrate that with them. But now they're in the real world. They're in their master's programs. They are working and they still come to me this day and talk about how much they miss our small group, how much that group had an impact on them. And now a lot of them are actually leading small groups and they say, you know, you showed me that this was possible and that I could do it. And you poured into my life and loved on me in a way that gave me the confidence to know that I could do this with the Lord's help. And so I just want to encourage you guys, um, don't don't lose hope. If your group is in a rough season, just continue with it. Uh, we are always here to help you. We're always praying for you. And if you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. Love you guys so much. Hope you have an awesome day.